All right, here we are going to take a look and hopefully understand why a negatively charged object is attracted to a neutral object. Um, and we're going to take a look at this object here. This is a negatively charged object. You can see because we obviously have a lot more negative charges in here than we do positive charges. Down here, neutral object, uh, we can see that they're the same number of uh, positives as there are negatives, so as a result, this is a neutral object. All right, so we're gonna figure out why these two objects are attracted to each other when only one is charged, this negatively charged object, and uh, and why this neutral one would even want to uh, be attracted to the negatively charged object. So let's take a look. We're gonna bring this negatively charged object closer uh, to this neutral object, and you can see what's happening in the neutral object because this a negatively charged object is negatively charged, it is going to repel the negative charges in this neutral object. And what's key here is that, again, the negative charges can move or shift. The positive charges do not. They cannot do anything like that. So as a result, the positive charges stay in place. The negative charges sort of move away from this negatively charged object because, again, they repel each other. But what's left is this sort of positive sort of edge here. Now, we would call this an induced positive side, that's a fancy term, but basically it means that uh, this is a, like a very temporary type of charge. Uh, this object is still a neutral object. Make no mistake, we still have the same number of positives as we do negatives. It's just that when we bring this negatively charged object close to it, it pushes away these negative charges and just leaves the positive charges behind. And as a result, this edge here kind of takes on this positively charged sort of characteristic. On the opposite side down here, you can see that we have, have this sort of collection of negative charges uh, in higher sort of frequency than we do the positive charges. So this becomes almost like a negative-ish type of side there. Now, what's important though is that this positive side ends up getting attracted to this negatively charged object. And that's the reason why these two objects are attracted to each other, even though this thing is still a neutral object. All right, what about the other way around? What if this was a positively charged object and we bring it closer to a neutral object? I asked you the question, would a positively charged object still be attracted to a neutral object? And the answer is yes, and I will show you why. And you can probably even probably guess what's gonna happen here. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna take this positively charged object and bring it closer to this neutral object. And I want you to pay attention again to the negative charges down here in, uh, in the neutral object. Because as I bring this thing closer, you can see what happens. Uh, we end up seeing these negative charges. Again, they're the only things that can move and they will move closer to the surface of this object here and sort of outnumber the positive charges in this edge right here and as a result takes on this sort of negative type of characteristic. It's, it behaves kind of like a negatively charged object. Uh, but on the other side of here where all these electrons sort of vacated or left, we have a lot of these just positive charges left hanging around and again the positives don't move. It's just the negative charges swinging around in this uh, neutral object. So as a result this side takes on this negatively charged sort of characteristic characteristic and the other side takes on this positive type of characteristic. This object altogether is still neutral because it still has the same number of positives as negative charges. It's just that they've been redistributed a little bit differently because this positive charge, uh, positively charged object is pulling the electrons or the negative charges towards it. And that is the reason why a positively charged object is attracted to a neutral object. It's because these electrons now are sort of getting pulled towards it, and in doing so, this object, this neutral object, become, uh, becomes attracted to the positively charged object. Whew. I hope that helps. Good luck.